Good evening and welcome to Family Feud. Hello everyone, it's me, Lucky McCoy. Thank you for joining us here. Let's get things started by meeting our feuding families. And here's our first family. Woo, I can see the dollar signs in their eyes already. And they're facing this formidable bunch. Is it just me or do they look familiar? You two families are taking each other on to guess the answers we've got to our survey questions. Find the most popular answers to clear the board and take the rounds. Whoever scores the most points gets to play Fast Money, where you can win $20,000. Are you ready for action? It's time to face the first question in the face-off. One person from each team, come down and join me here at the front. We want three answers this time. Be sure to buzz in when you've got an answer to the survey question. If you're first to find the number one answer, you get to decide if your family will play or pass the round. We took a survey of 100 people, asking them, Before a couple gets married, name something they should agree about. You got in first. Good answer. That's good. Let's see if the board's got it. Kids. Wow, that's the way to answer. Do you want to play, or do you want to pass and force them to play? Yeah. Um. Looks like you're going for a clean sweep. Keep it up. What do you have for us? That's what you think, huh? Let's run with it. Living arrangements. Ooh, we're so close to completion. Yes. Oh, nice. Ooh, you're so close. You just need one more answer. Nice. Is that the final answer? Pet. That's not on the board. So you've earned yourself a strike. Oops. Just one answer left. Are you sure about that? Will this make a clean sweep? Let's find out. That's your second strike right there. Get another strike and the other family will get a chance. Feeling lucky? Do we have a right answer? Car. 
That's three strikes and you're out. Yay. The other family has a chance. If they can find just one answer, this family will steal the board. If this answer is up there, you take the points for this round. All right, let's try it. Show me that answer. Money. That's what we want. This round goes to you. But you knew that, didn't you? Are you ready to see the scores? Let's reveal. That's just one round down. We've got so much fun left to have here. Get your game faces on, because it's time for the face-off. I'm going to need one person from each family to join me right now. We've got four answers to find. Get ready to buzz in. We asked 100 people this question. Name something that smells good. You're in first. What you got? Burritos. Got it. Is it up there? Show me. Perfume. You found a good answer, but it's not the best answer. Let's see if you can find the top answer. Said with confidence. And what did our survey say? Cookies. We've reached the summit with this one. Well done. Time to decide, play or pass. Let's see if the rest of your team can keep things going. I need an answer. Sure thing. Let's see if that's a correct answer. Flowers. Look at that beautiful board, almost full. Only one answer left. Let's go find it. Okay, then. Could it be up there? Let's find out. It's not up there, so this is your first strike. Uh -oh. Name something that smells good. Uh. Good answer. Good answer. I see where you're going with this. Our survey says, rain. Oh no, you struck out again. Oh. Moving along the feud, Jane. Yeah? We have an answer. 
Let's see what the survey says. Laundry. Oh no, strike three. Yay. Now it's the other family's turn to take a crack at it. If you want to steal this round, you need to find me a missing answer. Dig deep, give me a correct answer, and you snatch these points from the other team. All right. Is it on the board? Air freshener. You didn't find what we wanted. This is what a winning family looks like. Let's take a look at that one remaining answer. I can't even think what it could be. Answer number three. People. How are those scores looking? There's a big change on the scoreboard. Are you ready for another face-off? I want two people to join me over here. This time, you've got six answers to find. Interested in doubling your money? Because now, everything is worth twice as much. We asked 100 people. Name something you would never buy used. You're first. Yes. That's your answer. Time to check the board. Underwear. Perfecto. It's make up your mind time. Pass or play. You won last time, and now you run a roll. Let's play this thing. Got a guess ready? Because I'm going to need one. Okie dokie. Let's check the board. Food. Nope, not up there. So here's your first strike. What's your answer? Answer accepted. Let's take a look. TV. Awesome. Cool. That's a good answer. Name something you would never buy used. Oh. Okay. Could it be there? Pet. Ooh, it's another strike. Look sharp. Another strike and you lose control of this round. Interesting answer. Did anyone in the survey say this? Computer. You're still in the game. Nice. One more strike, and the other family gets to try for a steal.
Okay, sure. Let's see if you're right. Car. You live to feud another day. For now. There's just two answers up there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All righty then. Is that one of the ones we're still looking for? Bed. You're still in this. Oh. That's a good answer. Have you got something for us? I see you're the strong and silent type. It's time for the other team to have a crack at this. All we need is one right answer, and this family can steal the points. Is it there? If it is, you've scored a steal. If not, the points go straight over to the other side. Okay. And our survey says, washing machine. That's not it. We've got a win over here. What was that one last elusive answer? We come to answer number six. Let's see it. Toothbrush. It's time to check out the current scores. That lead's looking solid now. It's time for the face-off. I need two players down in front. I'm going to need five answers to this question. Triple points in play now. You better make sure your answers count. We've got answers from 100 people for this question. What occupation will earn the most money for doing the least work? You're first. What's your answer? Good, okay. Let's see if it's up there. Actor. It's on the board what we could do better. Can you find the top answer? It's still up there. What occupation will earn the most money for doing the least work? Here we go then. Let's see if that's a good answer. Musician. Not in this survey. Play or pass. Let's hope someone in your family has the top answer. Let's play. And now it's your guess. Yes. The survey says, athlete. All right, way to go, kiddo. Yes. That's a good answer. I'm going to need your guess. Right. That's a good answer. Ah, yes. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Politician. It's there. 
What occupation will earn the most money for doing the least work? Got it. Did any of our 100 people say it? Doctor. You hear that noise? That's a strike. Whoops. We're still looking for two more answers. Okay. I had $10 million in the bank last week, so I decided I'd donate a quarter of it to charity. Now I've got $9,999,999.75. There aren't many answers left. Is it there? Game show host. Ouch! That's your second strike. Just two answers left to find. Uh-huh. Understood. Time to find out if it's up there. Three strikes. That's going to do it for you. The other family gets a chance to steal. All we need is one answer, and this family can steal the round. You could steal all the points with this answer. That's what you're going with? Our survey said, CEO. That's it. Congratulations. We've got one answer left to reveal. What was the third answer? Lawyer. Before we move on, Let's take a moment to see the current scores. It ain't over yet. We need one more round to settle things. Neither team has surpassed 300 points, so that means we need a decider. Batten down the hatches. It's time for a sudden death. All right, give me two people. This time, I just want you to give me the top answer. Whoever buzzes in first gets a shot at finding the answer. If you're wrong, your opponent gets a chance. We asked 100 people the following. Name something a divorced couple literally cannot cut in half. Think you got something? Great answer. Yep. Did our survey agree? Kids, you know it. You've won sudden death. You're going to play fast money. What a shocker. The tough team of true titans has been toppled. Too bad. What should we do now? Oh, I know. Let's play fast money. Okay, now I'm going to ask you five questions. I want you to try and give me the most popular answer. Now, if your answer is combined with your teammates, add up to 200 points. You're going to win the jackpot. Start the clock. At the Pillsbury Doughboy's funeral, somebody might say he had the best what? Name a Christmas gift 
you get just about every year. Name something that might accidentally fall into the toilet. Name something people use a paper bag for. Name a word or phrase that means the same as lost your job. That's everything. We're going to switch over now. Going second is a little more difficult. You'll answer the same five questions, but you cannot duplicate any answers we've had. If you do, you'll have to give it another guess. Okay, start the clock. At the Pillsbury Doughboy's funeral, somebody might say he had the best what? Name a Christmas gift you get just about every year. Name something that might accidentally fall into the toilet. Name something people use a paper bag for. Name a word or phrase that means the same as lost your job. That's everything. That's all the answers you can give. Well done. Right, let's get back here on stage and see how you both did. For our first question, we asked, at the Pillsbury Doughboy's funeral, somebody might say he had the best what? The answers you gave both of these answers are looking strong. We found the most popular one. For question two, we asked, name a Christmas gift you get just about every year. This is what you said. Those look like some mighty fine answers. Hey. The number one answer. You remember the third question, right? It was... Name something that might accidentally fall into the toilet. And your answers? I think we've got a couple of good answers there. Oh. That's 200 points. Way to go. That was some impressive answering. Let's see the rest of the answers. You've just won 20,000 bucks. How does that feel? This is Lucky McCoy, thanking you oh so much for playing. See you next time. Should we keep playing?